We've missed the last couple weeks because it's been crazy the last two weeks. Jenny was here for her three day. James was here for one day. Jenny was here for three day. Kyle's here for five day. Final approach course. I'm gonna make them over and wave at the camera. They've been out flying. I, I did some flying with Kyle yesterday. So they are working on his final approach course. He arrived Thursday to get started Friday <laughs> and Saturday to get a jump on the FAC. That's enough for me. That's good. I just said, just make an appearance. Come over and wave at the camera and that's good enough. Um, so it's going, it's going great. We got the helicopter flying. Backups here getting a little bit of maintenance done to it. And so they're flying, we're doing it. And we last two weeks has been nuts here. That's why we failed to go live the last two weeks. Not because we didn't want to, it's just, it was crazy. Last week, Taz Chrisman was here all week and helped with Jenny and James and helped me with some back behind the scenes stuff, you know, with uh, Taz's experience in flight training as well as we kick things off here. And so the title of the video today is Enstrom's Back, and it's now official. We, we heard about the, I heard about it at the end of last week, and it became official a, a day or two ago. Bottom line is one of my past students from 15 years ago, when I was flying in Fort Wayne, I was flying EMS, and my days off I was flying helicopters, taught a gentleman up there to fly. Uh, he owns, I think he sold this company now, but started a company called Sweetwater many years ago, selling musical stuff out of the back of a van and turned it into a really, really great company. And then he dabbled into helicopters once he got his private. We bought him a brand new Enstrom after he got his private, an Enstrom 480. Went to the factory and picked up an Enstrom, and this is, I'm guessing, 15 years ago. So um, he now has other aviation businesses. He has airplanes and has a bunch of helicopters. And he works closely with one of our local examiners, Randy Sharkey, who I've worked with for 20 years or more. I've worked with Randy, I've worked for Randy. He's uh, Chuck's right-hand man. And they're at Enstrom yesterday. I assume they're still here today. They made it an official announcement a day or two ago. We heard the word prior to that I knew it was getting ready to happen. And it's exciting stuff because Enstrom was in bankruptcy. And you know, it was sad for us who are Enstrom lovers because we didn't know. You know, the company was around for 60 some years. And Enstrom is a great helicopter. Bottom line, we'll say 15 years ago, this gentleman bought a brand new Enstrom. And after he got it home and started flying it, I remember him emailing Enstrom and saying, hey, you know what, you have a great helicopter and it's wonderful and it's great and exciting and I love it. But then went on to proceed to tell them where they were falling short in their marketing <laughs> and their website and everything about the way Enstrom kind of, you know, projected itself. And I remember at the time that President responding, well, you know, our current owner, that's kind of, he's happy with being, with Enstrom being where it's at. And he was happy with the amount of air helicopters they produce per year. And just wasn't really interested in really growing it or getting too crazy with it. So the exciting news, I know the numbers, and I don't know if I'm supposed to reveal it or not, so I won't, but I know <laughs> approximately what he purchased Enstrom for and right off the bat from what I've been told, he's gonna put more money back into it than he's even paying for the company, like right off the bat. And what they did tell me, I, what I did get straight from uh, his right-hand man is, everybody that, that basically lost their job when Enstrom closed, anybody that was working there can come back. They're all invited to come back to work, take their jobs back. Um, the purchase happened, I think, the end of last week, and they were there yesterday getting started. They said they're going to be producing new helicopters within two weeks. I mean, like, they're putting it back in business, like, really, really quickly. So, we wanted to share that news with you because a lot of people know that for 10 years, we have supported Enstrom in the, just the fact that I've flown them for a lot of years. I have more time in Enstrom than any other aircraft I've ever flown. So, you know, like flying the Use is a great little helicopter and I enjoy flying it, but it's not the Enstrom. <laughs> the Enstrom just has this, you've heard about the incredible auto rotation in an Enstrom helicopter. It is, it, it's, it's one of the best out there, but anything I've ever flown, you know, it's like one examiner says I've used forever. You, you just about, you gotta try really hard to screw up an Enstrom. You really, really gotta try hard. So, 
That noise in the background is really distracting. I'm not used to that. <laughs> so anyway, we just wanted to go live and let you know about that and that things are going to be happening with Enstrom. And I'm excited because the gentleman that purchased it, the way he ran his other businesses, he's a full-on entrepreneur and obviously knows how to build something from scratch and turn it into a really, really, really worldwide reputable company. So the fact that this guy has the resources and the knowledge and the know-how to take a company like Enstrom, and I, I believe it'll come back bigger and better than it ever was, I really do. Just from this gentleman's history in business, I think he's gonna go in there like a freight train and you'll see, you know, I hate to say even a whole lot more because I don't know any other details on what they're going to do, but I'm sure that trainer they were working on, I'm sure they'll get back on trying to get that thing going and, you know, who knows what else they may do. So, last two weeks have been crazy. We haven't forgotten about any of you. We just, each week, we went down here with Taz last week and talk about everything that's going on, but we were booking these eight-hour days. You know, Jenny's was, or James that came for a discovery one day, that's eight hours with three hours of flight time. Jenny came for three days with nine hours of flight time, and then Kyle came early, and then is here for this week. So these are all eight-hour days. We're booked for each individual student, nobody else on the schedule. So last week they had me, Nick, and Taz working with them. This week it's me and Nick working with one individual, so you know, one person could be flying, one person could be taking a break or working on hog stuff, vice versa. We can switch in and out and give as much training, flight training to any, any one individual as far as what you could ever handle in one day. Because an eight hour day here, it goes by fast, but man, we do a lot of stuff and we stay with it. So I'll make sure that Heather's number's down below in the box after this is over, 574-767-1797. And I'll make sure our web, ad ad web address is down there as well. So all the hogs courses up and running, 24 hour test flight on either the private monthly membership or the advanced courses. So private is just a, all you need is private. You're good to go. Any of the advanced courses includes private. Commercial instrument, CFI, they're all in one membership called the advanced membership. And those are down below and you can take those for a 24-hour test flight. Then Heather's consistently each week making deals on our larger packages. We have a one-year private pilot, we have a 24-month pro pilot, and then a lifetime pro pilot. And there's a couple different options. And those are listed on our website. All right. We'll switch the backup camera. I'm over here in this tiny little chair. <laughs> Heather's right here next to me. Fuel truck's over there, and they're out there making noise and yelling. They didn't realize. <clears throat> hey, when I'm going live, don't be in the background screaming and yelling, making noise. <laughs> Jesus. So, call Heather. Text Heather. Email Heather. Heather at helicopterground.com. Or text 574-767-1797. If you need some help with ground school project, getting ready for ratings, or if you want to come fly with us, we'll have Kyle report at the end of the week. Today he's like, I said, you want to go on camera today or wait? He goes, let me wait till the end of the week. So we'll jump on camera and uh, we're confident Kyle's going to be happy and excited Friday night. Friday afternoon when he gets his private and then we're going to go, he said, I'll take you up on the pizza and pitcher of beer thing. So we're going to do that Friday night after he passes his test. He said, no sound. Yeah, that might be old. Anyway. <laughs> Go down below, contact us. We'll see you in the next video.